and live out in Spokane Valley right here on Sprague. This is the Valley Fest Parade route getting ready for the Valley Fest Parade. I have now officially counted five sprinkles in like the past 15 minutes, so not hard rain, but we do have some light rain approaching. Your forecast first for tonight, that light rain is going to move through here in just the next couple of hours. Then we will be dry overnight with mostly cloudy skies. Overnight low of 43 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly sunny few clouds in the afternoon, a high temperature of 65. Our high today only 64 in Spokane. We've only had a trace of rain out at the airport. Nothing to measure at this point. Temperatures currently we are dropping quickly. It is raining at the airport and a rain cooled temperature in the 50s as a result. It is breezy. Wind gusts around the region in the 15 to 20 mile per hour range. Those winds will be dying down later this evening. On our Doppler radar, you can see the rain moving through the Palouse and right into the Spokane area. It is moving to the east with nothing behind it. So once it does clear, then we are going to be dry overnight. It is light rain fairly light rain and so if you're heading out to the parade uh, be aware you might get sprinkled on but it is not going to be much of a downpour satellite and radar shows high pressure building in behind this system for some sunny and warmer weather for the weekend overnight lows tonight will be mostly in the 40s 30s in Deer Park highs tomorrow in the 60s and 70s and in your seven day forecast we warm up nicely if you're chilly tonight you can warm up through the weekend and by Monday we are in to the 80s. It's going to be great weather for Valley Fest and Spokane Transit has an amazing way that you can help kids stay warm this winter. And Beth Bowsley is here. Hi, how are Hi, you? Great. It's so good to see you, Chris. And good to see you too, Beth. And you brought me a bus. Tell me about it. Yes, it's amazing. We're so excited to see our beautiful bus. I saw it driving through the neighborhood as you did the other day too. And it is just gorgeous. And we're so excited to have this beautiful way to to communicate to all of the Spokane region that we are helping to collect coats for coats for kids. And Spokane Transit is going to have this bus at Valley Fest tomorrow. We want to stuff it full of coats. That's right. We will be at Valley Fest tomorrow and we'll be there from 10 to 6. And so please come to Valley Fest, bring a coat and bring it over and come say hi and stuff the bus. And you know, Beth, you are, I got your title here, the Director of Communications and Customer Service That's at Spokane right. Transit. But you have been down in the Coats for Kids trenches helping hand out coats, work with the kids, you've seen it firsthand, the power of Coats for Kids. I have to tell you, it really is one of my favorite parts of the job, and I hope to do it this year and years to come, and it really is just so rewarding, and our vision is to be a source of pride to the community, and I can't think of a better way to do that than to helping you uh, get Coats for Kids. So it's wonderful. Thank you, Beth, and I have to tell Nadine, Nadine, you're on the other side of the bus. They're going to close Sprague, <laughs> so I'll show you the Nadine side at 6. Uh, but right now, you can see we have Derek Dice, Robin Nance, and Mark Peterson from Good Nor Morning Northwest, and the good folks are longtime sponsors from Tomlinson, Sotheby's, Century 21, Bueller & Associates, and Coldwell, or Butler & Associates, rather, and Coldwell Banker Tomlinson, our beautiful bus. I'm going to be marching in the parade with the bus tonight. <laughs> Very exciting to see you down there to see the bus and more importantly, your army of volunteers who absolutely love this uh, cause and love you, Chris. So, so cool to see that.